You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building, Carly Rae. What up? What's up, Carly? <laughs> the newly engaged Carly Red. Oh, my gosh. Is that crazy? What if Beyonce had here? He's, I think he's like downstairs somewhere. Oh, okay. Downstairs somewhere. <laughs> now, Why you didn't let to? him come up? Huh? Who you engaged to? It's a, a regular guy. You a regular, know? How'd that happen? Now, now, explain the story. We've been dating on and off for, for some time now. and um, Really dating or loving hip hop dating? No, really dating. Okay. You Arkansas see? Mo. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. From Arkansas? Yeah, he from Arkansas. Yeah, you know. I would never guess. <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah. So go ahead. You've been yeah, dating for a long know, time. Yeah, we've been dating on and off, and um, I was surprised mm -hmm. that he popped the question. So I just was like, oh shoot. So off and on, him watching you on, you know, love and hip hop. How did he feel seeing you dating other people? I mean, it's my past, mm -hmm. you know. So. So, how, so off and on, how long then? Oh, it's been about six months. Oh, okay. But you know, we filmed Love and Hip Hop right. before, you know? And um, we've just been like, wow, just together every single day, one of those things. What made him the one? Why? <laughs> Why? Because um, this is definitely, it's, it's not on some TV. It's not on some like, oh, you know, I need her for something. She, you know, he needs, it's not that. It's just. We really love each other. He wasn't concerned with the past and the quote unquote messiness and the love of hip hop and all that. <laughs> no. Nope. Fighting and the beefing and the. Is he no. going to be on the show? I don't know. I don't know. We we haven't filmed yet, so I don't I don't know. What, now give what, us some insight. Who is this guy though? Like, what does he do? He just came out of nowhere for us. Yes. You know, yes. as people watching you, we had no idea who he was. So tell us um how you guys met. Who is he? We met. <laughs> we met in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. He freshly moved to Atlanta. We met in Atlanta. You know what's crazy? Jock's manager introduced us. Oh, okay. So he's the one that, he's the Jock blocker. <laughs> right. Okay. He introduced us. How crazy is that? And he was like, somebody wants to meet you. Somebody wants to meet you. I'm like, whatever, whatever. I'm I'm just going to come out and have fun with y'all because we hang out. And uh, and I met him and we've been kicking it ever since. Why would Jock's manager do that? Doesn't he know that you and Jock could have potentially gotten back together? That part. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he was thinking, but hey, I mean, I don't, Jock and I are really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. So, um... Our history comes from being good friends. What was it in your past relationships that you think didn't work? Whether it was Jock or Life Jennings or whoever it was, what didn't work that makes this one work? Is it trust? Is it loyalty? Yeah, um, I think it, it's cheating. Uh, my other On their side or your side or both? No, the, the guy side. Okay. Uh, cheating, uh, he's not concerned with all the TV and you know being on television and being Oh yeah, I'm dating Carly Red and all this stuff. He's not concerned with all that stuff. He that's why I'm like he downstairs. He didn't even come up here. When you call him regular, why is he regular? What do you? Because he has a regular job, as you know. Jock is you know a rapper. Uh, awesome. Life Jennings a rapper, you know. So singer. I'm I mean, a singer. 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 What's my a bad. regular job? Like what does he do? Um, he owns a trucking company. Okay. You know, um, he just works. You know, he's not in the industry. That's good. So you and like why, that he probably making money. He's probably making more money than 90% of all artists if he got his own trucking company. Yes, he mm -hmm. has his own trucking company. So, yeah, he does make a lot You of like money. this better to have somebody that's not in the in industry? This is my first time, mm -hmm. and I'm like, this works. Mm -hmm. He's he's not caring about taking pictures with me and being in the limelight or nothing like that. How many Instagram followers he got? He's, he's actually got a private page. He don't... <laughs> He's okay, not. he might be a keeper. <laughs> yeah. All right. His page is private, but since okay. it came out, everybody been requesting. He's like, dang. I'm like, mm. he's like, I'm not following nobody. Uh -uh, I'm not into that. Mm -hmm. Other girls from Love and Hip Hop trying to follow him now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. sure, but he ain't into all that. Now, let's talk about you, though, before Love and Hip Hop, because before you did the show, right, you have always wanted to act, be an artist, and all of those things also, and you've done that. Yes, I was a child actor. Mm-hmm. Um, always in the studio recording, always doing something, commercials, movies, and everything. So, yeah. I actually went to the Harlem School of the Arts mm -hmm. out here in New York. Um, went to Avon Illy. Mm -hmm. And so I was always into the arts, into entertainment field. My mom was her folk. So what got you to love it, hip-hop? Yeah, because yeah, it feels like people never focus on those things. They see you on the show, and they're like, oh, now she's trying to do this. Yeah. And now she's trying to do that. But they don't understand. There? Like, those are difficult schools to have gotten into. I have totally gotten into. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's just I've always been in the entertainment industry. People don't know that about me. 
And then all of a sudden, and I've always been doing music, music way before Love and Hip Hop. And then all of a sudden, I got the phone call say he would like to interview you. When I got interviewed, it was like, we love it. This could be a break, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think that you didn't get a chance to focus on those things because of the show? Because sometimes it's very time consuming when you're filming. No, no, no. Um, I still audition. Mm -hmm. uh, you were in top five. We see that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's when you, um, Cedric busted all off on you. <laughs> I knew you was going to say I that. I remember that. But I, know, I auditioned for the movie role. I actually flew myself out here for the callback. The mm -hmm. callback was in New York. The first audition was in L.A. Flew myself out here for the callback and got the job. Were you hesitant at all to do that, or did you think it would be like? So because that's a hard role to have to play, and I'm sure you oh have my some gosh. questions. But you know what? It's crazy. Um, that was the first time I actually did a movie that was on big screen, and I didn't know that you know, that wasn't me. They hired someone to look like me to do those other parts. Oh, the naked was, scenes. The naked scenes. So that was in my trailer. Body. It was a body double. It's a body double. Oh, that wasn't you. No. It oh was wow. A body wow. I think what, what Tiffany was saying said she turned that role down. I think it was. Cause that's a hard role because it was a and hard role. Head, you How think, did they well, read this in the script? This is a Chris Rock movie. For people that haven't seen it, explain the it, role. It didn't read guys. like that. <laughs> it, it didn't read like that in the script. <laughs> Not okay. all like that. No. Explain the role for people who haven't seen it. Yeah. Um. Basically, I played. Not me. Hmm? What? I, I said, I'm not going to explain it. <laughs> He's not asking you to be asking Carly. Take me out of context. <laughs> I, I play a prostitute on um, and we ended up having a threesome with Cedric and and. It was supposed to be with Chris Rock, and Cedric just came and busted in like, uh-uh, you ain't gonna have my, mm-mm, yeah, I'm doing this threesome. And so it's two guys and a girl. Well, it was supposed to be two guys. Mm -hmm. It ended up being Cedric, and Chris Rock was watching like, oh, why am I not there? You know, and um, it was just, it was supposed to be really comedic and funny, and that's what I love about Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. funny though. Yeah, it was a funny. It was scene. a funny. Scene. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's hard because you're like, I want to do it because it's Chris Rock. It's gonna be in theaters, but the role is a little like. I was so nervous about it, but it, it, I was like, you know what? I gotta put myself out there and mm -hmm. say, forget it. Gotcha. All right, and then you have a song out right now. Yes, Ferrari Carly. You feel like people are reacting? Well, I see people being like, oh, I'm, this is actually pretty decent. But then yeah. I see people going in too, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I basically, I, I've been snapping, you know, but the thing is, I didn't know what song people were going to take to. Mm -hmm. And they would, I put it out and they like it. So I'm like, hey, okay, I love it. Yeah, I love it, I love it. When you put music out though, Love and Hip Hop also gets a piece of that? No. Oh, they don't? No. Okay, I thought the way them contracts were set up. No. I think for some people, mm -hmm. she's been on the show since the beginning now in Atlanta, so I, I think it's a little different for you. For me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. No, they don't. Mm -mm. How much longer do you see yourself doing Love & Hip Hop? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just taking it? it day at a time. You still and enjoy I, it? I love it. And it's a great platform for my stores, mm -hmm. for my book, my you know, things that I want to do. It's a great platform. Let's talk about this uh, sexy book you have and tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so um, I'm sexually like free spirited and what does that mean like i don't mind talking about sex a lot of people are uncomfortable oh, i don't okay. mind talking about sex either yeah okay, yeah I, I don't <laughs> mind talking about sex mm -hmm. I, i'm just like hey you know but other people are uncomfortable talking about sex mm -hmm. so i got with zane she's one of the best time seller whatever you know she's new york's best time you know she's the number New York one Times bestseller. Yeah, when and it comes to the sex series books. too. The, um, mm -hmm. the and thing. I was in that series mm -hmm. too. I did a role in there. And I got with Zane. I said, Zane, I want to write a sex book. When you look at Zane, you're like, wait a minute. You be talking about sex? Hold on. You be talking about sex? And I look too cute. <laughs> Damn, Envy. No, she said, well, you look I at her like, you? That. I think he meant, she meant like conservative. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. she's very conservative. Oh, I, just, I, I never seen her. Just, no, no, <laughs> she's very conservative. Conservative people have sex, Carla. They too, but, but they when you not look at her, she don't, she don't seem she don't like, the, like a freak. Yeah, she don't look like a freak, but okay. to be her books the, are fictional, right? Um, gotta come yeah, from somewhere. Sh it yeah. gotta come from somewhere. That's a freaky mind if she got still writing a book, regardless. And if it to be popular like that right, she, right. She, she does a great job I have all the Zane's books by the way okay. yeah and for her to have a TV show about it mm -hmm. so um, I you got a little freak over there guys yeah she a freak but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you a freak everybody freak oh uh, yeah I'm married though she didn't ask you that. She just asked me as a freak, bro. She said she wanted to get freaked with you. She just putting it, just letting it be known. Okay. Right. Well, I'm equal. engaged yeah, and I'm a freak. freak. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so um, I got with Zane, and Zane was like, yeah, I would love to. And I told her, I, she was like, just tell me all your stories. Tell me everything you want to talk about, and I'm going to fix it up and make it 
Give us one story now that's a freaky story. Oh, there's so many. I don't give us, even know give us a, begin. Just give us a little um, spoiler. Give us one of your freaky stories that can entertain us. Well, next next month is, uh, what is it? Anal Awareness Month. Anal Awareness Month. Oh, oh gosh. Not anal awareness month. It's <laughs> anal, it's, 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 it's anal pleasure oh. awareness oh, okay. month. Right. Wait, 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 what does that mean? Your ass next month. But wait, okay? what does that Everybody mean? Everybody, just be aware of your ass. Next Can somebody month. tell me what that it's, means? It's anal pleasure means you be awareness anal month. Next month. <laughs> So that everybody should have anal next month. Every yes, everybody. I don't know if that's what it actually means, but it is. <laughs> I haven't had anal with my dude yet, so really? I'm, yeah. yeah. You want him to, or he? Some guys are hesitant to do that, and some women are hesitant to tell a man they like that. Yeah, I think it's one of those things where um, I, I'm. It's just sexual for me. It's not like oh, I'm a planet at 10:45. Mm-hmm. It's just go with the flow. I'm drunk. Put it in there. Right. Uh, I don't think you can do that with anal. No, you might get a little surprised. <laughs> yeah, don't like, oh no, I didn't think it felt like this. Did you? Don't you have to prepare for anal though, somewhat? Like make sure you're cleaned out there, and oh! that's what I heard. Unless your you know butt what I'm saying? Big. Cause you can't just slide it in there. I'm, I'm a some... clean person regardless, so I wake up in the morning and be clean. Mm-hmm. I don't know about these other people. You gotta make sure you go to the bathroom. <laughs> you gotta clean. Though. You gotta make sure you go to the bathroom minute, first. Like, yes, <laughs> and you gotta shower after you after you. Dump and you have to use lube. <laughs> you do it after every time after you poop, you do you shower. Yes, I do. Wow, who doesn't? Yes, I do. You poop every time after you. I mean, you shower every time after you yes. poop. Yes, I do. Work. I do. That's what the same. Every do. time. Yes. Yeah. If I'm at home, it's a morning you know thing worst... for me. So I poop in the morning. Yes, in the morning. And, and right yeah, after that, I, I take that. a shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That... You know what the worst is? If you're in the shower and you have to go, and you're like, damn it, I get out the shower. shower. <laughs> I think that's happened to me before. I refuse to believe that y'all take a shower every time y'all poop. So y'all just around the house. If I'm home, if, if I'm, I'm at home, home, I definitely would take a shower right after. Right after? Yes. What is the shit getting on y'all when it comes out? Like I don't understand just, why. Just, I just want to wipe my ass. Shout man, you shower. take all your clothes off when you poop. You might as well hop in the shower. I do, and I wipe thoroughly, and you know, <laughs> you got a bidet, and you. You, you have a bidet? Off. No. You use it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't think I use. I don't think that I use that bidet since I'm well, old. Well, next old. month is anal pleasure. <laughs> Ain't no pleasure month. You might want to try it. <laughs> so you think you guys okay. are gonna wait till you get married? Maybe that's a gift for after marriage. Like give them something to look forward to. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't give up on my tricks before the marriage. No. Who are mm-hmm. what other tricks? You have, do you have no idea how many fart sounds are gonna play during this interview. <laughs> oh my god. You have no clue. <laughs> oh no. So you tell us one of your stories. That's what you you. Yeah, oh gosh, it's so many, so many. Um, yeah. Give us one that's gonna make us want to read this book. Um. Uh, yeah, well, uh, doing it to a guy before in the in the in the anal. What? Oh, you pegged him? Yeah. You put a strap on it and you. Mm-hmm. Your wow. boyfriend? No. Was this in? A, no, it's in a, it's in the book. Okay, it's in the book. It's in the book. Was this? Atlanta? Atlanta? Was this one of the? I'm trying to narrow it down. It's in the book. That's all was I gotta this, say. It's the same place in Atlanta. What boyfriend was this? It's in the book. Is he on you, the show? You say his name? No, I said no. No names in the book. No yeah, you can't. Okay. So you really did this? I, hey, it's, it's in the book. She said it was in Atlanta, right? Yes. yes. Okay. It's in Atlanta. <laughs> a lot of stuff behind. How did they, how did he ask you? I'm just curious. Like it was, hey babe, why don't you, you know? Yeah. How me? does this come up? I didn't want to say because then they're gonna use it as a clip. So no, we already call you um, Envy Peg, Peg Pegging Envy. No, That's you know you don't. Pegging but anyway, how, how did he ask you? <laughs> no, I don't think. Like I said, it's not one of those things you plan. It's just, it's just. You just but you don't just have a strap on yeah, laying well, around. Yeah, you just have them in your closet. Yeah, I, I have a she sex. Said yes. Th- yeah, I know. You do? I have, you have a sex a toy. You have I a have swing? a sex toy company with Doc Johnson. Oh well, then it makes sense. Yeah, I put out a sex toy line with Doc Johnson. So yeah. So I did he say like let's try let's right. try some of these toys? Yeah, on Doc Johnson's site and my oh, site. Yeah. He well, make sure sex toys different than everybody else's. Um, cause I p- I pick the ones that I want. Um, you know, Doc Johnson and I got together and they said, okay, which are the ones that you really really like? I like um, buzzing in your mouth. Mm-hmm. That that one. You ever you ever tried? No. That? You ever tried in your mouth? It's, no. Yeah. It's a it's when you go down on somebody. It's a vibe a liquid vibrator. So it's a liquid, and you put it in your mouth, and it buzzes like pop rocks. <laughs> Not necessarily pop rocks. Just like a vibrator, but cock rocks, pop cocks. Oh, <laughs> but it's it's a liquid vibrator. Mm. Liquid vibrator. Y'all should try it. What about cock rings? Have you ever used those on a guy? No. Oh my I heard guys love cock rings, though, and it's supposed to be really good for them. Yeah, I don't know. I like the pleasure that. and the sensation of never it. Never tried that. Never tried a cock, cock ring. ring? No, I never tried that. I did. They say guys like that. Yeah. I heard it's that before. It's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to give you more I, sensation. I didn't like it. I feel like the like the like it messes your circulation up a little bit. That's I, the at least point that's what of I it. thought in my that's mind. That's what I heard. 
Yeah. It keeps yeah. you harder. Do for guys longer. like cock rings? I never. I never. It's supposed to help you maintain ring. your erection for a longer period of time and make you more sensitive. I'm pretty good with the erection part. I don't need to put that on my thing and feel like my shit is for about to fall off. They also say guys who aren't circumcised have a lot more sensation in the um, hood of their penis. I can't deal with a Charlamagne guy that's was, not circumcised. Was halfway uh-uh. circumcised. Read that. <laughs> How do you know, MB? <laughs> Then what happened to you guys? Ask him. Ask him again. You put the camera right on his face. <laughs> ask him again. Yeah, ask him again. And he said ask that him. like he's Just seen it up close. Yeah, hey, word more. I didn't have my circumcised. <laughs> Go ahead, answer the question. How is that for you? Oh, wait, are you, are you circumcised? Are you circumcised? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm circumcised. Okay. Charlamagne's okay. halfway. I used to have a little skin Halfway? Bridge. I used to have a little skin bridge. It, I'm, I'm, I, it was a little skin bridge that I had, but it's it's gone now. And but you off. had to go back to the hospital and get uh, it? I think I was like 17, maybe. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a little piece of skin from the shaft to the head of the penis. You'll see it. Like, if you can Google it and you'll Your see Your mom it. took you? Was it your penis? But no, I actually went for <laughs> something <laughs> else. <laughs> I went for something else and the doctor said, he's like, I was like, what is that doing there? The doctor, That's something you got to get rid of. Is that what he said? 16, at 17. I don't remember what I was getting done. I, it, it's something I was What's getting that, done. Was that an STD? Yeah. I didn't. And he was like, he, he snipped it right it's there. Burned snipped it, it, snitched it up. up. Did it hurt? No. Nah. You want me to Google it? I'll Google it for you. Hold oh, on. wow. It's not going to be mine, but you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, wow. I so, wait, so, okay. So, give us some other toys. Oh, gosh. So, yeah. The liquid... Give us your favorite, your, your top five. <laughs> the top five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> liquid vibrator, um, strap on. Uh, That's how I look. Oh, <laughs> that's what the penis looks like. Oh, Ew, look gross. at this. That's how it looked. It was like oh, a piece of skin like that. You didn't think that was crazy? I never oh, thought shit. about it. I mean, I, I thought it was normal until I went to the doctor and he told, he was like, "What is that? <laughs> what is so that? You had what is schme- that? What are those?" Had <laughs> oh. I did used to have little little bouts of schmegma. A little schmegma. I did. That yeah, funky, fact. spunky penis. Whoa. Mm-hmm. All right, so go on. What else? Yeah, I saw the strap on. The strap how, on. How, so how frequently have you used a strap on on men? Like how many different men have you used? No, it on? no, no, just one time. Just one time. Yeah. Did he love it? I'm sure. And he remained your boyfriend? No. Oh. No, hell no. Was oh, it? No. Did we'd it slide in? Because he, he can never so bad about you. Word is born. You do something like that. <laughs> 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 never. That's never. why you got never. Married. You will never come for me ever. <laughs> but um, yes, the, the liquid vibrators. Wait, wait, one more question about the strap on. So was it wide open or did it? Like have to, was it like a you know? It, it's one. Of, let me put the head in. Mm-hmm. You know. Let me just slip. Let me, can I just put the head in? That's what you told him. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> let me put just the head the tip. in. Like, <laughs> can I put the tip in? Can I just put the tip in? But um, did he bleed? Oh my god. Oh my yeah. gosh. I'm just asking. asking. I no, know. no. He didn't bleed. No, no, no. Should he have? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody's ass is the same way. I don't know. Okay. All right. So go on. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. The liquid vibrate. Which ones do you like? The um, I've never been that big into toys, but the little pocket rocket. I have that too in my line. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send it to you. I have Anything that too in my okay, line. Okay, good. Pocket perfect. Yeah, yeah, something like discreet, small, easy. You know what my thing is? I'm mad lazy. So it's not like, I think it's like a lot of preparation that goes into it because then afterwards you got to get up, clean it and all of that. So wait, was, you're lazy. What do you, you mean? Like I so just, you're I, definitely not doing any work at all. You're just no. I'm saying if you're gonna he's lazy. No, I'm saying if you're about to like masturbate, you don't feel like going through like let me get up, get this, plug it in, make sure the battery's in. It's a lot. Yeah, you're just there by yourself. You you just gotta have a bunch of batteries on the side, like you know. All right, so go on. Tell me the rest of your favorite. Okay, so liquid vibrate. I do like the pocket rocket. Okay, the strap on. Uh, what else? Um. The handcuff situation, mm-hmm. you know. Situation. Yeah, yeah. Look at that ring. Oh, thank you. Nine carats? Is that fifteen? What? Oh, fifteen carats. Mm-hmm. Damn. Do y'all see that this? Man spent huge... a lot of money. Don't be playing with that man's carrots now. Yeah. Did you get it appraised? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure did. I want to make sure. You it did? Yeah. Sure is that offensive? Right. It's real. Is that this offensive time? to a man? It's real this if he time. I got a real ring this time. <laughs> is that offensive if a man uh, proposes to you and then you get the ring appraised? Like as a for you guys, would y'all be offended? I got it appraised because I put insurance on it. Okay, that's a good that's reason. The, that's that's her reason. I got appraised to put insurance on it. Because I, I no, because I lose everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no, I don't lose that. Yeah, no, no. So now, I, you know how you want to lotion your hands and I'd be like oh, ring off. yeah and you take your ring off and I, I so I was like let me get it appraised okay. insurance are you even nervous just riding around and doing stuff wearing it that somebody might try to like come up to you and be like give me a ring yeah, me. No. I'm just saying that was oh, something I would think about there. an expensive Jeez. piece of jewelry yeah no I'm not nervous mm-hmm. no I never thought about that but I got insurance on it now so how much did it appraise for 150 okay yeah right. <laughs> God, what else you want to know? Well, Carly don't mind answering any questions about Mm-mm. anything. That's, nope. her, that's the whole point of why people like her. 
thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't mind. Shoot. It's all out there anyway, so shoot. <laughs> but I, I really appreciate y'all having me, oh, though. thanks for coming. How are you and Tommy now? Yeah, we're good. We're mm-hmm. good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're real good. I want to know the person you... you uh, you put a strap on her. I want to. I want to know. Oh my gosh! Everyone, everyone's his number, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what? That's how that sounded, my brother. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's exactly how you sounded just now. I want to know the guy who you pay. Ooh. And you like? I don't want to hear about nothing else. Give me his number. That's how you sounded. I smack my penis. I don't have that no more. Like he could have the real. You can't thing. smack my shame. Me, I don't have it. <laughs> you I think will... that when you get married, you'll have threesomes? Hmm. Is that That's something yes. you guys discuss? I think I would, but I don't think he would allow me to. So you don't think he'll be with it? But yeah, I don't think to. he'll be with it. I would. Mm-hmm. I ask him about it now. I'd be like, who ain't that girl? He'd be like, what? But like, no, I don't think he would be with it. Is he a freak in the bedroom at least? Yeah, he's a freak in the bedroom. But I don't think he would be with it. But he don't do anal. He don't want no threesomes. Mm-mm. I can't even touch his booty. I can't even go like, yeah, no. Can't lick it. No, I can't even, I can't even, like, you know how, if I even smack his ass, he'd be like, yeah, that's crazy. You know how you smack guys' ass, like, hey, and they get out the shower, hey, he's like, yeah, even some guys get fighting words, and (laughs) he'd be looking at me like, don't even touch me there. (laughs) Do you like choking and stuff like that when you're in the bedroom? Yeah, I like all that stuff. And getting slapped? Do you like choked? Mmm... Very lightly, not like a I might pass out. Some people like the I might pass out choke. No, you like better that. not. That's fighting. No, we definitely, we going to be fighting instead of having sex at the end of this choke. What about a smack? Um, lightly, mm-hmm. lightly. Like, eh, yeah, uh. <laughs> not no, huh. <laughs> <laughs> No hand. <laughs> are you smacking in the bed? Are you, are you, are you choking and smacking? Uh, I do a little light choke. <laughs> yes. You like being choked. No. No. Do you like being choked in me? No. You don't no. like some big, strong hands around your neck? <laughs> no. My wife has little hands, but no, I'll pass. No, 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 no choking me. No choking. I never tried it, though. You should. It might be good. It might be good, but nah, I'll pass. What about role play? Um, I don't think he's going for I don't know. I, guys, I don't think he's going for all of that. You ain't describe a freaky person. You said yeah. he's freaky. Yeah, right? no, he's freaky because there's other ways to be freaky. Like what? Uh, You know, shit. Having sex anywhere, anywhere. What's the craziest place? I make you an exhibitionist. Yeah. What's the craziest place you have sex? In the truck. Um, Craziest place. Oh, my gosh. On the, no, it's not crazy on the beach. It's not crazy. Uh, Dag, on a plane, it's not crazy. Everybody's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing left. There's nothing left right, anymore. There's nothing left for me to do to be crazy. Right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to think about that one. When you're going to get... That means you- your bar is too high. Meaning that, like, you've done so much freaky stuff, your bar's way high. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because for what you don't think is freaky, you'll probably say it, and everybody be like, what? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Because when I gave the toys, I, there was a scene in Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, and I gave um, I gave my toys away. And I was like, I gave it oh, towards the the personality that mm-hmm. I thought, you know? So I, I what gave. What do you mean you gave them away? You know, it's gift. like gifting. A gift. Not yeah. like her used somebody toys. Use toys. They, no, no, no. Toy I had a toy line. line. Okay, yeah, yeah, got yeah. you, got you, got you. So I gifted Dime a uh, hogtied. Mm-hmm. And she's like, what? No. <laughs> and I oh, I gifted uh, a Spice, a big old, yeah. big, I mean, it was big, uh, <laughs> a huge uh, uh, um, strap, yeah, dildo. And she was like, what? No. Yep. Yeah. And I gave Sierra the vibrating thing. And mm-hmm. she was like, oh, so yeah, you're right. A lot of people. You think huge penises are overrated? I like them small. Even though my dude doesn't have a small penis. Let me put that out there. Wow. You like them small? Like, Gigi. what do you mean by small? Gigi, you think penises are overrated? <laughs> what do you call me? Gigi. What about you? You Gigi, Gigi I'm L'Oreal. <laughs> All right? you, think penis, <laughs> you think big penis is overrated? You know, you know, mine is big, so I, you know, I like them big. I know yours is small. Yes. How do you know? I like small penises. You like small penises? Yes, I do. Right? It's easier for you to suck, right? Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm role playing. I'm being L'Oreal. <laughs> <laughs> I like them small. I mean, my dude doesn't have a small, but I do like them small. I dance for my but man sometimes. What do you mean sometimes. by small? Like how small is <laughs> no, small? No, average. Okay, average. You, you keep saying small. Like thinking... average, average. I like average. I like okay. average. But, uh, you know, guys walk around and they're like, I got a big, I got a big. 
That's you know, how they walk around? Those are yeah. the ones that usually don't have them. Oh, the ones that brag. The ones that brag. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. L'Oreal. <laughs> <laughs> you so stupid. <laughs> That's that big dick energy they talk about, though. Big yeah. dick energy. A lot of people brag about it. I'm like, well, I don't like that. Mm-mm. I don't yeah, like I know average. Sometimes you got to sit to the side so it don't go all the way in. I really like that you guys are doing this because I'm definitely using <laughs> And no one's going to understand anything about any type of role play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Gigi and L'Oreal? What up, Gigi? What up, L'Oreal? Yeah. Oh, Gigi and L'Oreal, you Carly know I'm never going to forget that. For you, what? which one of your businesses makes oh, you no, the most money? those are real money? people. You don't know Gigi and L'Oreal? Lip service. You, you talk about my podcast, yet? Lip Service. She hasn't done it yet. Man, please clarify for her when she leaves. She was like, she, <laughs> Indian and Charlotte are calling herself Gigi and L'Oreal. Probably don't worry about it. Now, what, which one of your businesses makes you the most money? Oh my gosh! It, it, if I, you had to say this is the one that brings me the most income, which one? Oof! I, all of them do. Mm-hmm. About this, yeah, all of them do. They all bring, They can't bring about the same though. The stores. Yeah, the store is doing well. It's do, okay. So the store, I make a lot of money during a certain month, mm-hmm. and then it'll be a little average right there. You know, especially Christmas time. Come and then on, there's overhead know. too with that. Yeah, and then uh, so it's just mm-hmm. it varies. Okay. I, but loving hip hop Atlanta makes me money. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't do that forever, so you do want to diversify yeah, your yeah. portfolio. What do you that's, think of, and that's why I have the store yeah. and all of this, you know. And the um, yeah, and the book coming out. And the book out. coming out. You gonna do some with Fashion Nova too? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love Fashion Nova. Even though I have my own store, I do like fashion because my store is catered to like club wear and you know the bandage dresses and. The, I've know. been doing my squats, man. I'm gonna put my ass Fashion in Nova, Nova man. Jeans, man. What's a bandage dress? A bandage dress mm-hmm. is a is one of the sexy dresses you see girls wearing in the mm-hmm. club. They're like okay. very tight dresses, but it keeps everything in. Yeah, it do. It oh, do. I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. It sucks right. it in, sucks it in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about um, Stevie J and Faith getting married? You know, I text Stevie um, soon as I heard the news. I was like, congrats, bro. Mm-hmm. And he said, I'm happy. So, hey, you all happy? I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. That's the first thing he said, I'm happy. And that was all he said. Mm-hmm. Um, you happy? I'm happy. Are you scared to bring Arkansas Mo on the show if Mona wants him on? Um, are you nervous because sometimes those things are, you know, you never know how that's going to go in a relationship. Is it something nervous. you want to keep private? I'm very nervous to bring him on. I don't I don't know what's going to happen. I can't even call it right now. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm in happy right now. I'm just like, "Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm in happy right now." And When's the wedding? Uh he wants to do a wedding around our both we're both Aries. How does that work? Uh-huh. I've never dated a guy the same sign as me. Charlemagne knows more about signs than all of us. Yeah. I don't okay, know what tell me Aries on Aries is. I've never heard of Let me Google it for you. Okay. Aries on Aries. I mean, I'm sure y'all got a lot of similarities, which could work. You know okay. what I mean? Either, either, you know, if y'all have a lot of things in common, but sometimes when you have a lot of things in common with people, you really, I don't know. Let me see. Who is I'm me? the turn up person. Mm-hmm. And he's the calm person. Right, because when you're a man and a woman of the same sign, a lot of times there are different characteristics, too. Like a male Aries and a female Aries would be really different from each other. I've always oh. stayed away from somebody the same sign as me, so I don't know how to... Say? It says, with, your, with both of y'all self-respect aiming high and strong personalities, it's easy for these two to take off their clothes and enjoy one another. The biggest problem could be their possible selfishness. Mm. Mm. Yes. Ah, so you're both selfish in the bedroom. No! <laughs> That's what it just said, right? Oh my gosh, huh? Are we? No, he lets me get mine. He definitely let me get mine. Okay, so you're a taker. I'm a, I'm a pleaser. Okay, you're a pleaser. Yeah, I'm a pleaser. I like to please, but sometimes he he won't let me be, you know, please him all the time. He's like, uh, uh-uh, you you relax, chill. I'm like, I got this. So I don't know, but as as far as not just sexually in the bed, but what about the other the other? No, that wasn't just sex. That though. Was it just said like, yeah, because I mean, you're, 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 yeah, your selfishness means that like you know, y'all both have to be uh, willing to give of each other, right? Like, yeah. Give for each other. Give for you each can't other. be selfish. You can't be all into you and he all into him because then y'all not giving to each other. Yeah. That's what I would take from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never. I've always stayed away from the person the same sign as me. Like i have be like, oh, you same sign as me? Who I'm staying away? But this. Why? Because you don't like yourself. <laughs> I'm I'm scared to date myself, mm. but it's a guy, so Ooh. they're different. Why are you scared yeah, you to date wouldn't want to date somebody with your own qualities? No. Why? Why? No. Like what? What about you? Do you feel like is not dateable? I'm spoiled. I'm so spoiled. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm crazy. 
Well, at least you you know it. <laughs> yeah. That's the first thing to, Absolutely. to know that you're crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. So, and no, I wouldn't want to date a crazy person. Wow. And you're on Saints and Sinners? Yeah, I'm on Saints and Sinners, season one, season two, and mm-hmm. season three. See, oh, she really did do a lot working. Go ahead, Carly. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> we're not. We're going in our fourth season. Yeah. Wow. All right, Carly. Well, thank, thank you for joining you. us. No, thank you for having me. <laughs> I really How did, What did Jack have to say when he found out? Um, Meet me in the trap. It's going down. It's going down. Yeah. <laughs> um, he, he, what's so crazy is, the first time he met him uh, was out here mm-hmm. in New York. We both had to do some promo for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And... Um, why do you have to meet him? Or just uh, it was just random? Yeah, you no. Know, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, it was random. Because you guys have been we're dating off and on. Yeah, so. we were dating off and on. Mm-hmm. And um he's like, I'm gonna meet you in New York. I was like, all right, cool. Not knowing that Jock was gonna be there too, because they didn't tell us. Mm-hmm. And uh we were all checking in our hotel room at the same time. Mm-hmm. Ooh, awkward. Awkward. And we all got in the elevator at the same time. Ooh, Jock, had, Jock had his girl at the time or no? No, Jock was just by himself with 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 his manager or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um it the was manager that the manager that introduced, introduced you, guys. you? Dude. Oh man, damn, dude, That's it was so awkward, and so we're she all. She said that earlier. I know, but we, oh. it was awkward as hell. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we were all in the elevator, and um, and I was just like, "Hey, Jock, this is Maurice," and you know, and I'm just introducing. I'm just like, "Can this elevator go any freaking faster?" Yeah, on the same floor, didn't you? No. Oh. <laughs> you were like, "Let's be extra loud." <laughs> right, right, and then um, he has, he, you know, afterwards he was like, "Come here, Carly, come here for a second. I was like, "What's up?" He's like, "So, who's your?" Is he a boxer? Is he a, he kept asking who he is and oh, what does he God. do? And I'm like, dude, leave me alone. Leave me alone. He's like, nah, what does he do? He look like a boxer. Oh, he must be diesel I don't know. But he's like, he keep asking me. He look like a boxer. He I'm don't like, want to get his ass beat is what he was saying. That just part. In case. That part. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't know. But he kept asking me, what does he do? I was like, dude, Jack, just leave it alone. Leave it alone, bro. Mm. But that was awkward. What's your favorite Jack hairstyle? The original jock. I don't know about all this. All the this. Kunk. You like the little Caesar? And, uh, yeah, Caesar, you know, fresh. I'm from New York, so I what like Where are you from? The Bronx. Oh. Conker's Village. Mm-hmm. Conker's Village. So, yeah, I like that low-cut Caesar. Caesar, right. All of that. Um, well, I don't even know what you would even call his. It's called a kunk. Style. It's called a kunk? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? No. He's oh. just saying that, don't he? I think it's called a kunk. No, he got a perm. Perm. Yeah. A kunk is a perm, a, though, ain't I it? I thought think it was a kunk. A kunk is the old school joint where they used to That's like what, yeah. the Malcolm X era where they used to put lie in your head or straighten it. He didn't be real that? hot. Mm-hmm. I mean, at first I thought he was wearing lace front wigs, so I had to look closely, and I was like, <laughs> "No, really, I did." I was like, "Yo, you like you really grew your hair out like that?" Because I didn't think guys could really let their hair grow that fast and be. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I really. I was looking like, dude, is this really your hair? And I pulled it and wait. Oh yeah, this is here. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. You really permed your hair? All right, cool. Shout out to Jock. I like Jock. Yeah, me too. It's my right, We appreciate you joining us. How does your fiance us? feel about you still liking Jock? No, as a friend. Oh. Homie, just cool. Making sure. Real cool, just homie. Homie. Like All right. <laughs> we put that out there. Well, it's Carly Red. It's Thank the Breakfast you. Club. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs>